Hi, I'm Corey Schutte. I'm Alexa Butel. And I'm Zach Watson. And our product is the automatic cow counter or kayak counterbalance <laughs> system. Uh, the owner of North Base, Douglas Tom Tom Tompkins, died in a kayaking accident in the southern part of Chile in Patagonia. The problem was Douglas encountered some rough waters out there, and it didn't ex he didn't expect it to happen. So his kayak capsized. He fell off into the water, which was below 40 degrees. End up dying from hypothermia in Chile. What our problem addresses is outdated and expensive current technology currently used, which can go up to $5,000. Current systems don't work on all types of kayaks either, so ours would be universal. Uh, it's also heavy, which in this case, the holes begin to bend from the other products, so it's damaging the kayaks, and some people have thousands of dollar kayaks that they have to replace every year. It's also bulky, and it gets in the way while you're trying to paddle, so you'll be hitting your elbows on these things. And there's a lack of steering and control, so you have these two systems out to the side that I'll show in a minute. And it's not allowing the kayaker to maneuver well, especially in rough waters. And 75% of kayak fatalities are classified as cap sizes. Uh, here's an example pick of the stabilizing system. And you can see that these are metal arms right here getting in the way of his movement. And when they go into the water, it's hard for the kayak to actually maneuver through the uh, rough terrain. Uh, okay. So, kind of what Corey touched on, just with the stabilizing of it, it's really hard for um, kayakers to uh, paddle with. And so on ours was, if we mount the arms, so it would go right on in front of the kayak and in the back, so you can either have the one or two options, so we can have one back, one in front, just depending on what kayak you want, and also just depending on how rough the waters are, which kind of goes into the one arm and two arm. And then also we'll have sensors too, so it's the, which are also going to be solar powered, which kind of helps save the environment a little bit. And so whatever it does flip itself over the sensor to detect how much water is actually filling up within the kayak. And then whenever it gets to the amount that it's a little bit too much, then it'll flip it back over. And it would also drain the kayak, the water out of the kayak as well. And like I mentioned, it also is solar powered and electric powered, so it would go off of the sun and everything. But then once the sun goes down, if you're going out for a night kayak, then the electric would also just kick in at that point. And so the uniqueness of our product is there's nothing else like it on the market right now. And it's the functionality of it with just out from all the competition, which Zach will touch on in a little bit. And it's really <coughs> our target market's kind of really broad because there really isn't a specific group that likes kayaking more than another. And any age can really do it, obviously up to the discretion of the parent for their child. But it would just be whoever likes the outdoors or tourist areas that offer kayaking as an option probably a lot of tropical places internationally as well. So those are just kind of like our areas of target market. And now Zach will go into the industry trends of the kayak. So for some of the numbers, um, in 2013, uh, annual kayak sales were at uh, over 225,000, with kayak fishing outings at 38 million. Um, and from 2006 to 2014, uh, Kayak participants more than doubled from six million to fourteen million. Um, these kind of these numbers just kind of justify the market that we're in. Um, there's potential. Uh, I'll kind of get into the competition a little bit, but the product that we're we're talking about um, it's a lot more technologically advanced than anything else, um, and this market is ready for something like that. It's ready for for growth in that area. Um, so you can see our competitive advantage pretty clear. Um, our main competitors are Scotty and Hobie. Uh, they kind of make the standard two pontoon uh, stabilizer system that we, we looked at earlier. Um, so our system is mounted out of water. Um, it's not going to slow down the boat or, any, uh, or hinder any movement. Um, we talked about paddling. Uh, it's a lightweight design, so it's not going to bend the hole at all. Uh, we feature a counterbalance system and will actually rotate the kayak back around um, if it end up ends up capsizing. And so kind of closing with our value proposition, um, our product is for kayak and canoe owners who want security and functionality uh, in their boating experience, and we're providing that, um, providing a, a unique quality balancing system that's lightweight, state-of-the-art, um, and very increased in safety. So if there's any questions, we'll take that now, or that's the end of our presentation. All right. Thanks.